Hi there, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about what's your point of view? So many of us just start a painting and we see the landscape or a still life, and we just kind of paint it. How about doing something a little more creative than that? Everybody can do that, but why don't you look at whatever it is that you're painting, a different point of view. Are you looking from the left? Are you looking from underneath? Think about that. Or are you looking from the top, looking straight down? Like if you were a landscape artist. Well, maybe you're thinking about looking at that landscape from the drone's point of view. You see all those patterns, how cool that stuff can be, right? So just a different point of view. Many, many years ago, I, I found one of my paintings here. Of, uh, it was uh, it's called Jumbo Shrimp. First of all, I love those two words, jumbo shrimp. Okay, you take that point of view, and then look how wacky this is. I don't know if I'm looking straight down, or I'm looking on an angle at this glass over here. Anyway, a long time ago, I was kind of playing around with that idea. You know, even if you're doing straight on, like a cat's eye view, now you have a really strong graphics, but make a decision on what is the perspective, what's your point of view. This one here is a slightly down, a little bit different different angle, not that much different, but I love being able to take a single object and sketching it from different points of view, as if I had it in my hand and I was photographing it at different angles. Let me show you my sketchbook. So many years ago, I was painting coffee cups from different points of view. And I just discovered this print that was made of one of my paintings. And I said, wow, look at that view, straight down. Well, that's what got me all excited about doing this new kind of a Bob Blast. Here's my sketchbook. So I started drawing ordinary objects, the glass, you know, a simple glass. And this is how we would normally look at it. But what about looking at it from underneath when you pick up the glass? And I have to draw the bottom of this. And notice how the bottom is wider and the top is narrower. Or straight on like this, just a cat's eye view. How about straight down? You see all kinds of darks and lights. A good practice to do three-dimensional objects, like a box, simple box. Draw the, all the sides. Again, look at that, the angle, straight down, straight on. So uh, I started drawing my, my interiors. Oh boy, do I like to do interiors that are really wacky. Kind of a Van Gogh-ish bedroom scene kind of thing. I love taking things and, and just making them weirder and weird perspective, not one real uh, vanishing point. And I like to practice doing my, my goofy little checkerboard floors, but make sure they're, they're wavy. Boy, looks like the 60s to me. Okay, and what about, I love doing landscapes, like farmland, straight down. Look at the buildings, the, the, the silos looking straight down with these long shadows, and then you have the patterns uh, of the fields, and you know, very Wayne T. Bowish kind of beautiful, beautiful work. So I, I love painting that way too. So it's all about your point of view. Think of a drone again, or just flying all around your subject matter and taking lots of pictures. Well, you do that with your camera. Of course you do. So it's really important that you photograph um, uh, what it is you're about to paint and so you can play with different angles. Again, the whole idea about perspective and point of view is you have to say, here's your, you see, this is a little vase here and some flowers. Now, it depends on where you are. I mean, are you over here and looking out of here? So that would mean uh, you either have light coming this way or you have light coming this way. It's just going to distort it. Or you're looking from underneath and or maybe you're looking at the top, from the top view. And that would be your, your painting. So that's pretty legitimate. It's just a different, wackier point of view, and it's really important that you do have a different point of view. Your audience, who are going to be buying your work, are looking for your uniqueness, not the same old, same old, same old. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this. Just another way of lightening up the load, right? So go and be wacky, and I can't wait to see your next work, and I'll see you on the next Bob Blast. Thanks for watching.
Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, here to invite you to enter your work, your paintings, into our second international virtual jury show. How about that? We, had, we just had one called Petting Zoo. Very successful, lots of prizes. We were pretty excited about it by the responses and your results that we decided to do another one. And this one, is the theme is called Table Settings. Think of the possibilities, table setting. It could be table for two. It could be dishes and plates and wine glasses. It could be a banquet. It could be a table for one. You decide, how do I do a painting? And the title will be Table Setting to Your Imagination. We take abstracts, realistic, all of them. It's your best effort. And let me tell you, you're good enough to enter into this show. We have an international juror, again, a different one. Her name is Karen Vernon. I love this lady. She's a great teacher and a great painter. Uh, and so she's well qualified to pick out the best. So you send in your best for table setting. The prospectus is following this information. And go to my website, you'll see the whole thing. I can't wait to see your work. Take care, and this is Bob Burridge. Hi there, I'm Bob Burridge, and this is all about Date Night with Bob. We just got finished doing one. See the paintings behind me? This is a two hour kind of a Zoom painting workshop is what it is. And we were painting for two hours. You can either do it along with me or you can sit back and have a, an adult beverage and watch at the same time. This is called a fun thing we're gonna be doing. We've done them already, so it's called Date Night with Bob. And don't you want to do that on a, whatever nights we have? Check out the schedule. It's right behind me. And we're going to be painting like crazy. I'll see you on Date Night with Bob.